Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and the location, you are listening to this audio course. I am Adams Aziz, a student of the University of Ilorin in Nigeria, in the Department of History and International Studies. I am a graphic designer, a boarding historian and writer, a poet and an humanitarian. In this audio course, I will be talking about personal growth and why should anyone bother about it. Permit me to quickly state the outline for this audio course. Now we have what is personal growth. Under this section, I will make you understand what it means to pursue self growth. Next, we have the five pillars of personal growth. Under these, we will be exploring the five pillars on of personal growth and personal growth taking the 360 degrees method or 360 degrees self improvement. Yeah, the next will be why bother about personal growth. So under these, I will highlight the importance of personal growth to every person. The next will be strategies for self growth. Under this, I will talk about creating the right habit to ensure personal improvement. So sit back and enjoy with me. Now let's move to the first topic in our outline which is what is personal growth. Self-growth, also known as personal growth, is the process of developing new skills, behavior, actions, habits, attitude to benefit certain aspects of your life. Basically, we can say self-growth is a process that allows you to, to expand your abilities by evaluating your behavior your reaction and then your attitude so there are some things you must note down about self-growth or personal growth one of them is that self-growth or personal growth is a process it is not an overnight transformation it is a long-term process that that shapes your future by slight margin another is that Self growth or personal growth is deliberate. No one can force you to focus on your growth. No one can force you to grow. You have to sit down, think about your values and goals, and decide if you want to commit to a long term growth process. Another point is that self growth or personal growth. Start with introspection. You have to question yourself. There are a lot of things which you think you know about yourself, but subconsciously you don't really know it. But the moment you, you start questioning yourself, observing yourself, meditating about your interests, and then you'll be able to decipher that there are some things which you, you really can focus on and Start, start, uh, be, start a process of growing on them. You, know, you meditate about your interest and then determine if you'll be committed to it. Another thing about self growth or personal growth is that <laughs> it gives feelings of fulfillment. That is, self growth can be an adult task from the start, but then when you are committed to it, the end goal usually what the stress. You'll be proud of yourself. You will end up having those muscles. The type of girl which you really want will surely come for you. And then the type of man which you really want will surely come for you. For you, yes. Your personality, your growth, your your level of understanding what of understanding how life really works. 
you surely make people you surely attract people to you so you don't really need to to force people to come for you but then the way you you, you will be sounding in the public the way people will perceive you you don't really have to tell people that i'm a growther i focus on my growth i have some growth bodies but then people will see it obviously and then you'll be attracting good people valuable people people with great mind will surely be coming to connect with you i want you to take note of this quote by eric butterworth it says don't go through life but grow through life eric butterworth said don't go through life grow through life now we will move into the second section in our outline which is the five areas of personal growth or the five pillars of personal growth now the first pillar of growth we are going to look at is mental growth mental growth focuses on the development of your mind such as the way you think and learn as a graphic designer you you might determine to to amass knowledge in all ramifications of your life even if you are not a graphic designer you can this i'm <laughs> i'm signing an example from graphic design because i'm a graphic designer sorry about that if you are not one so if you are not a graphic designer also you can determine to, to amass knowledge in all ramifications or in all ramifications of your life if you do this consistently to surely take you to the limelight one bigger day ahead as a digital creator or a graphic designer consume knowledge daily if you want to remain relevant yes. you don't have to be comfortable with whatever you know things evolve and then most of the things in the digital space are somehow dynamic what used to work well today might not work tomorrow again you know sometimes if you if you want to write a sales copy you'll be including something like um join my class and then you'll be making six figures one thing people are tired of the six figures they no longer want to hear that six figure again so you you are going you need to improve every day so that is why you don't have to be comfortable with whatever you know it's a dynamic in nature all right the next one will be emotional growth Emotional growth focuses on the development and management of your feelings and how you react to situations. You can decide not to be reacting to situations when you are incensed, and it is even important you must not trust your tongue when you are incensed. Rather, shut up your mouth till you get back to your original self. The next one is social growth. Social growth involves improving your communication skills and building a worthy network. If you are the type that doesn't connect with people at events, locations, online, seminars, etc., it might affect your person, your social growth, and then it will even have some some kind of effect on the other aspects of your growth. So you need to learn to connect with people improve your social content and then you need to reach out to more people you need to connect to more people make friends you know it is no longer about i am a graphic designer it is now we are graphic designer you have to collaborate with people you alone can't do things yourself you need to connect with like minds like you you need to connect with great minds like you if you want your growth to be fast so you need to improve your uh, your social growth or let me say you need to improve your social content the next is physical growth physical growth involves taking care of your body and using it in a productive way you can decide to do 10 to 15 minutes exercise daily if you do it continuously you will end up looking like the type of person you wanted without much stress if you are a man hey and you focus on building the upper part of your body trust me the type of lady you want will surely come for you but 
use your body your fitness in a productive way okay yeah the next one is spiritual growth spiritual growth refers to connecting with yourself on a holistic level developing as a person and finding inner peace so no matter what you do you have to have a good relationship with god you have to learn new things about your faith you don't just focus on other aspects of growth your spiritual growth matters also you understand your spiritual growth master matters also you have to learn new things about your face you have to have a close um, smooth relationship with your creator now we are moving to the next topic in our outline which is why personal growth what are the important of personal growth and why should you even consider personal growth oprah winfrey once once said we can't become what we need by remaining what we are self-growth is important because for most people there's at least one reaction behavior or attitude they would like to change about themselves self-growth is like a long-term invest investment it is not a once in a lifetime transformation when you focus on your growth it will make you propel in all ramifications of your life what others find so hard to do will be very easy for you to achieve because whatever you'll be doing today will be something that will be adding value or lead to progress to your long-term goals to self-growth or personal growth gives life meaning and make living fun it leads you to living a fulfilling life excellence will become your habit and then you will become a, a, a light for others to find their path that is when you focus on your personal growth or your self-growth those, those are some of the important of personal growth so it gives life meaning excellence become your habit you, you become a light for others to find their path so let's talk about the growth strategies the growth strategies one is evaluate your life judge yourself whenever you set a specific task and then look at how you were able to achieve it judge yourself two keep learning learning is boundless learning they say has no bound never end avoid self pity stroke blame games that is number three you need to avoid self pity stroke uh, or uh, let me say you need to avoid self pity or blame games that is be proud of yourself don't blame yourself whatever you do just um accept it as a mistake that is if, if you are not doing some things right don't blame yourself be proud of yourself whenever you set a task and then you are not able to to achieve it you are not able to meet your goals don't blame yourself be proud of yourself for the little you have achieved another one is track habits so one of the best way to improve yourself is to change your habit and form new one and form new one that is the habits that are not effective the habits that are not productive you need to change them and form new habits habits are automatic choices that influences the conscious decision that follows habit formation is the process by which a behavior becomes progressively more automatic through practice if spending much time online doesn't make you productive and doesn't align with your long-term goals you need to change that habit any habit that are not adding to your long-term goals that are not effective that are not productive they are bad habit which you need to change another one is share your goals with your friends do not think you alone can do things share your goals with your friends talk with friends that share the same thoughts with you so on the road to success there is always we and not me 
you alone can't achieve things yourself so you need to leverage on some friends you need to leverage some people who are of great mind like you another one is be grateful so always show gratitude always show gratitude another is care for yourself that is be proud of yourself if you do little things be proud of it be proud of yourself say and do stop being on the motion and and take action so you, you, whenever you want to do things don't just say it don't just think about it don't, don't just think about it but take actions on it take actions on it don't just think but do say and do celebrate your wins but when celebrating your wins remember that you are not in competition with anyone celebrate your wins but make it obvious that you are not in competition with anyone yeah another one is seek for feedback seek for feedback meet your friends let them rate you about your growth how far you have gone how you are improving on your growth ask them about your growth let them rate you another one is that be resilient be a likable person <laughs> spread smiles around be someone people can relate it freely don't be hard don't be hard yeah that's all so success is said to be the product of a daily habit and not once in a lifetime transformation when you are focusing on changing a habit or forming a new habit focus on the on the on the process and not the goal you get that focus on the process and not the goal the goal is to change an habit but there is a process to follow when you focus on the goal and achieve it you might go back to that habit again but when you focus on the process to be a changed person you will keep following the process till it becomes an habit let me use this as an example maybe you are not a good reader and you want to form a new habit of reading what do you do you make sure you read at least um, let me just if from me when i was trying to form a new habit of reading i try to read 10 pages daily 10 pages daily so the, the goal is to become a reader and then not just to finish that book so i read 10 pages daily so when you read 10 pages every blessed day you will surely find something to read every day because you just want to read 10 pages daily because you want to become a reader till it becomes an habit but when you focus on oh let me just finish this book you might not be able to read another book whenever you finish the book but when you focus on i want to be reading 10 pages daily before you finish a particular book you would have found another book to read again so like that you become a reader and not just someone who wants to finish reading one particular book we are all beautifully made to achieve great but can your current habit propel you to achieve great can your current habit propel you to be great answer the question and work toward being a changed person all right this is where i i will be stopping i am adams aziz once again i am founder called leader aziz i hope you have learned something don't just learn but implement whatever you learned here and you find it valuable please try to implement try to implement so i'll be stopping here finally i hope you found the you found this valuable thank you and god bless